Now, over the past few years, Dairyland Power Cooperative has been making the transition to more renewable energy sources. And in that process comes the retirement of the Genoa Station number three power plant. News 19's Crystal Flintrup joins us after watching that final demolition of the plant this morning. And Crystal, what was it like? That's right, I had the chance to join the watch party on the bluffs for this. And I don't think there's any other way to describe it other than epic. Oh. <laughs> The coal-fired power plant was in use for 52 years, providing over 300 megawatts of power to the area before it was retired in 2021. Over the past three years, Dairyland Power has been working to dismantle the power plant, happening Tuesday with the help of 400 pounds of explosives. The main building and the 500-foot smokestack was the last to be dismantled. What I think is important about today is uh, this symbolizes sort of the, the next step in our transition to being more reliant on renewable sources of electricity. Now that this power station has been demolished, crews will work to clear the rubble. Officials say they'll process about 2,000 tons of steel per month for the next three to four months. And all of the concrete will be crushed on site or reused on site. But as of right now, Ridge says there are no definitive plans for this location yet. All right, thank you, Crystal. We'll keep an eye on that. And this is the sixth coal-fired power plant that Dairyland has closed down. But according to Ridge, there are still two that remain in this transition.